So I see you guys are liking these videos, so I'm going to keep them coming. I decided to do a different topic today you guys can see by the title of the video. Now I know this is a pretty important topic for a lot of you guys. I mean, obviously gameplay is the most important thing in the game, but hairstyles are pretty important for people as well. People spend all year trying to copy the hairstyles of different NBA players. And I don't think it should really be that hard for 2K to add them in. I mean, I had a lot of hairstyles that I asked for last year. Many ways to do one haircut that I don't see why this would be a problem for 2K to do. I mean, just in a couple minutes of me playing around with stuff on Photoshop, I came up with so many different hairstyles. And some of those hairstyles actually made it into the game, but they didn't really do the concept that I was talking about. I mean, they kind of did, but I mean, barely. So I decided to share the concept again, but this time in a different way. This concept is crazy, so I'm gonna save it for last because I know a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with me, but a lot of you guys are gonna agree with me. So I'm, instead, I'm gonna do the basic hairstyles that I think they should add to the game and how I think it's possible for them to be able to do it for everybody to be able to do the hairstyles the way they want. Then, at the end, we'll talk about the custom ones. So basically what I said is, for them to make a system just like the jump shot creator that we have, we'll pretty much pick a base, and then we pick two different hairstyles on top of that and then we can mix and match them. Let's not do that. Pretty much they already have all the hairstyles there regularly so they should just make it so if you want to add dye to your hair that it's easy for you to be able to do it. Kind of like how they have the menu like this. Just have it so you can put the dye. What the heck is that? Yo, I'm wildin', that's crazy. Anyways, for people who want to have blue hair tips, it's easy for you to do it blonde hair tip, red, whatever. If your hair is blonde and you want black tips, so it's very easy for you to do that. Now, I don't think that's hard for them to add into the game. Now, here is the crazy part. You know how when you want a certain type of hairstyle, you basically bring the hairstyle in, you show it to your barber on your phone, whatever it is, and they pretty much copy it for you to the best of their ability. Now, just like I was saying with the t-shirt creator, maybe they should add the same concept in for hairstyles. Except for, you get your own design, you import it on 2k.com, and then they can put it on the side of your head, the back of your head, you can move it around for them to put it wherever it is. I think they'd be pretty easy to add in. That's kind of crazy because people can then import whatever they wanted, but as you can see on the shirt creator, 2K does not care as long as it's bringing in VC for them, but I mean, they've made the shirts free at the end, but I don't know. I think they should add that in because, I mean, they had they had a lot of shirts that had some crazy stuff on it in 2K, so, I mean, what people put on their head, I guess it's the same exact thing, right? Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm sure there's gonna be people that don't let me know what they think about it. They just go ahead, take this whole entire concept, make it their own video, take thumbnails, do everything you gotta do. I'm stuffing these up with watermarks from now on. So if you guys see watermarks in the videos, that's because we got people doing that crazy stuff. Just They're just taking the whole concept, just making it their own stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. If you guys see it on anybody's channel, just you call them out on it. That, that, that's crazy, man. That's that's crazy. Middleton driving with Ellington. Bam! Caught it! <laughs> he caught it! I said to the window, to the world, my